In the tapestry of human life, behold the first small thread, a single ovum cell. Seen here, photographed only moments after conception, this product of a male sperm and female egg marks both the beginning of a new life and the genetic future that life will experience. From this point on, every aspect of the child-to-be, height, color of eyes and hair, the capacity to think, learn and speak is established. Within 30 hours, this remarkable new cell begins to divide. As the hours pass, two cells become four. Then eight. Each new generation of cells repeatedly doubles in number. The process continues to accelerate, and by the sixth day, the rapidly developing embryo is ready to attach itself to the mother's womb. After two weeks, the embryo is barely one-tenth of an inch long. Its cells are now organizing according to type and purpose, and already the beginnings of a head and brain are established. By the 35th day, the foundations for the spinal cord and nervous system are in place. The heart begins to beat. And from this point on, it will regulate the life of the tiny being no larger than a drop of water. At six weeks, the embryo is three-fifths of an inch in length. The offshoots of legs and arms are now visible. Mouth, ears and nose begin to appear. Two months have passed. Though only an inch in height, the child is now a well-proportioned, small-scale baby, 40,000 times larger than the egg from which it grew. Every organ is present. Fingers and toes have formed, and slight movements are possible. Day after day, millions of carefully orchestrated decisions are carried out, and the child takes shape. Thousands of years before images like these were ever seen, the Hebrew poet David expressed the wonder of life's beginnings in a psalm of praise to God. You created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 